Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the European Girls Map Olympiad 2025 problem 2. At first, we want to say that a sequence a1 less than a2 and so on of positive integers is central if the average value of the elements from a1 up to aan is equal to an for all n greater than or equal to 1. Our task is to prove that there exists a sequence b1, b2, and so on, such that for every central sequence a1, a2, and so on, we have infinitely many values of n with a n equals to b. First of all, we want to fix one central sequence a1 less than a2, and so on, which is the sequence we want to work with. For convenience, I also want to name the set of all sequence members, so define a to be the set consisting of a1, a2, and so on. And this allows us to rewrite our condition on central sequences. Namely, we can write that a1 plus a2 and so on plus ak is equal to k squared, squared for all k in a. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw this equation here is that it is fulfilled if all the ai are just the odd positive integers. Indeed, if it happens, that two consecutive integers, k and k plus 1, are both elements of a, we get that a k plus 1 is just equal to k plus 1 squared minus k squared, which is equal to 2k plus 1. This motivates us to take b just as the sequence of all odd positive integers. So take bn equal to 2n minus 1, and then we directly see that in this case, ak plus 1 is equal to bk plus 1. In other words, if we can find infinitely many pairs of consecutive integers in a, we are done. And therefore, from now on, we may assume that this doesn't happen, so that there exists some capital N such that a n plus 1 is not equal to a n plus 1 for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Using the fact that central sequences are strictly increasing sequences of positive integers, this inequality here implies a n plus 1 is greater than or equal to a n plus 2. On the other hand, we know that b n increases by exactly 2 in each step. And therefore, if at any point after capital N, we have that a n is greater than or equal to b n, this has to hold from that point on. Hence, we can conclude that we find some time point M such that a n is less than b n for all n greater than or equal to M, or a n is greater than or equal b n for all n greater than or equal to m. If we have equality here infinitely many times, then we are done. And therefore, we can do a proof by contradiction and take a strictly greater sign here. Now we want to bring this together with the definition of central sequences to our contradiction. And for this, take k greater than l greater than m and k and l should be both elements of a. This allows us to write the sum a l plus 1 plus a l plus 2 and so on up to plus a k as k squared minus l squared. On the other hand, this is just equal to b l plus 1 plus b l plus 2 and so on plus b k. And now, since either this inequality here holds for all indices from L plus 1 to K, or this inequality here, we get a contradiction since K is strictly greater than L. Hence, our assumption was wrong, and therefore we can indeed find infinitely many n, such that a n is equal to b n, and thus we are done.